Mr. Speaker, for the last four years, President Obama repeatedly promised the American people that if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. But for Melody in Lexington, Kentucky, that's simply not true. Melody received a notice that her health care plan was no longer good enough under Obamacare. And when Melody looked into options for new insurance, like so many other Americans, she found out that her family's insurance costs would go up by 250 percent and their deductible would increase by $2,000. Melody, in this email, told me, we do not qualify for any premium assistance, even though we are a family of three living on a single income. We are more likely to go without health care coverage because our premiums are going to cost more per year than we would wind up spending on medical expenses without insurance. Mr. Speaker, this is not about politics. This is about real people in our districts that are being harmed by Obamacare. The American people don't need apologies. They don't need temporary administrative waivers. They need permanent solutions that will protect hardworking Americans from the coverage cancellations, loss of access to doctors, and premium spikes. It's time for the President to keep his promise and allow Americans who like their health care plans to keep them. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose does the gentleman from Montana rise?